Hi, I'm Jacob Yaffe. And I'm Ron Hilton. We're the composers of Free Meat. Migma has dedicated himself to justice reform and making sure the people that don't belong in prison is not in prison. We need your support and we need you to make some noise. Work right now. What's free? I came from the slums of Philadelphia. Free is when the TV ain't controlling what we see. Meek was arrested during a so called drug raid. All I see is hands and feet punching on me. I'm dizzy going in and out. This guy got locked up at 19 and been on probation for 11 years. Last summer, we had scored a LeBron James series called Best Shot, which was executive produced and created by a guy named Michael John Warren, who kind of rose to fame for directing Fade to Black for Jay-Z. And at the premiere party, he approached us and was telling us, he said, I got a new project you guys would be perfect for. And so we started pulling music together uh, for Free Meek. Um, every, every specific project we do um, is going to be a new process. And I think as we create the process for the show and as the palette you know, becomes uh, more crystallized, then we decide are we going to do more tracks, are we going to go back to stuff that we've done and adapt it, um, is it going to be more score. For this particular one, it was a hybrid of everything. Yeah, I'd say in the past we would like deconstruct at first, we'd deconstruct maybe a full-fledged song and make it work for score. But this time, we really talked about what, how can we change our process. So from the very germ of an idea, it, it's working for the scene. So it's got elements of everything, but it's true score written to picture. The thing about Meek is Meek has a lot of energy, right? If you've heard his music, um, if you know his story, he's going to come with passion and he's going to come aggressively. Um, and so what we wanted to do is be able to tell the story in the gaps, right? Show how he got to that point emotionally um, and mix a lot of the story with his family, um, with what he was doing when he was younger and how we got to the point where he's at now. So sonically, we had to experiment a little bit to get the right emotions, but you know it when you see it to picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it, you know, one of the things that Michael, uh, the director, asked us for he's like hey i know meek's music is kind of at an 11 energy wise he's like we need stuff that's going to work for what he said like in the gaps the smaller more intimate sort of uh, revealing parts of his life uh when he was a teenager show that kind of vulnerable side and also we had to show that like the story is bigger than just him he represents millions of people that have been caught up in the system and so we we were looking back all the way to the 60s at, like civil rights stuff and uh, i come from the jazz world and so we, we listened to people like Donald Byrd. There was a couple of um, his compositions that really just, as soon as you hear it, within seconds, you feel like kind of like the swelling energy of a large group of people. And we wanted to infuse that into a lot of our more thematic pieces. And the first thing we did was probably one of the most unified, I'd say, themes that we've ever done together, which was a real mix of like jazz, hip hop, pop. We had, you know, a big horn section on it. We had like gospel choir, uh, intimate, like breathy female vocals on it, and then strings, drums, bass, and it just became the theme of the whole show. Uh, over time, the editors kept gravitating towards it, and just kind of right from the get go, it gave you this feeling of almost like a quiet triumph. And it just kind of epitomized like Meek's, I don't know, what, 20 years yeah. struggle to get to where he's at now. Yeah. My mama used to pray that she'd see me in jail. It's fucked up, she got see me in jail. On a visit with Lil Poppy and her, even though I seen it be well. Meek was arrested in January of 2007. I have never seen a case built on less. I never really looked at it like a nightmare. I looked at it as a real life for a black kid in America. This is real life. What attracts me about making music for film and television is that you get to tell a long story. So you can build these melodies, you can build these components slowly over time. And at the end, you realize you have this masterpiece that wasn't what it was when it started. Sometimes that's a little scary, but it evolves in a beautiful way. And as a musician, it's really fulfilling because I don't have to literally dumb down one um, any musicality or any one sonic. I can you know, evolve as I need to. Mm -hmm. uh, Third Stream is the is our is our artist name. We're going to be releasing uh, an album. We're actually going to be recording at Capitol uh, for that. And um, you can find us on YouTube, Third Stream. That's T H three R D Stream. Um, 
and uh, thirdstream.com, and then also on Instagram. Uh, we're not on Facebook right now. Uh, and then you can follow us individually on, on Facebook and Instagram, just our names. Oh, no, you're FB. I'm FB the Mastermind. Um, yeah, FB, T-H-E, Mastermind. I don't know how many think cool. I'm just Jacob Yaffe. Uh, my name is Ron Hilton. My name is Jacob Yaffe. You, you've, you've just, just been, been buzzed. buzzed.